This is a continuation from my previous video on how to configure your ads manager column. So previously I talked about how you can create a lead generation uh, performance column and some of you might be thinking, okay, that might not be so applicable to my business because I could be running in e-commerce or I'm selling uh, my own products. So I should be tracking based on purchases rather than lead generation. And that's totally fine. So what I'm going to do is that in this video, especially for those that are doing e-commerce or you're selling your own products, I'm going to show you how to slightly tweak the configuration for the ads manager column. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the top here at columns and you're going to click on customize columns okay so it's almost the same thing except that we're going to remove leads and cost per lead okay so i'm just going to go through everything for completion sake we'll go with campaign name ad set delivery budget amount spam impressions cost per thousand impression link clicks cpc ctr ctr all these are still important what we're going to do is we're going to remove the last two columns all right leads and uh, cost per lead so what we're going to do is I'm going to add in this word called purchase. Okay, purchases, we'll click on total, um, value, and cost. All right, let's click at the bottom here. And again, you might notice something familiar is that we have all these boxes here, which is really not important. So we uncheck them. Okay, we uncheck all of this. All right, so we get to see purchases, which means like how many uh, uh products being sold. So for example, let's say you're selling an, an ebook right now and you have sold 10 ebooks at uh, $10 each as an example. Okay, so the purchase will show as 10, all right, 10 ebooks. Conversion value will be 10 times 10, it will be $100, okay? And uh, if you're wondering how do we decide what's the value of the conversions, all that, I'll cover that in uh, Facebook pixel creation, all right? And the next thing is cost per purchase. So let's just say, for example, we spent $100 and we have gotten 10 purchases, so the cost per purchase would be $10. So it's more like a break even going on right now, okay? So I'm just giving you a simple illustration and that will lead to one more metric to include, which is purchase return on ad spend or ROAS. So some marketers, finally, they, they, they call it ROAS, okay? Uh, or ROAS. So if I say the word ROAS, this is exactly what I mean, okay? Return on ad spend or in simpler terms for some people, it's return on investment. So again, if you had spent $100 and you made $100 back, you would have gotten a one ROAS. I mean, this is 1.0, all right? Now, let's just say that the books are $20, okay? And we had spent $100, we had sold 10 copies, times $20 is $200. So $200 divided by $100 in advertising spend, it will be ROAS of two. That means we're getting a two times return on ad spend. Okay, so that's exactly how uh, purchase works. So what you can do right now is we can click on save as preset and let's just call it purchase. All right, so that's exactly what this is right now. Now, you might be running an e-commerce store and you would ask probably a few more metrics that you want to look at. So let's go to customize columns again and we're going to add a few things such as add to cart so you can see that there's a add to cart over here total uh, you can also add the value if you would like and also the cost it's pretty much similar here as well okay so if you're integrating this with the likes of shopify woocommerce or any other e-commerce platforms so these are the things that you normally would like to uh, take a look at so actually you don't really need unique for this one okay just total cost uh, of of add to cart all right so some people, some people might even use a different term called initiate checkout or IC. Uh, checkouts initiated could be another term that you're using as well, but this depends on the platform that you are using, okay? So with that said, you can put add to cart here and click on save as preset, and I'm just gonna call it e-commerce. All right, so these are some of the metrics that you will normally be looking at when you're doing a purchase conversion value, or if you're running e-commerce, you will want to add on the add to cart. So you can have a look at um, how many people are adding to cart, how many people are actually making the final purchases. You'll be able to track and uh, decide from there.